internet. How is everyone this week? I hope this week's going really well for you. Um, if it's not, I'm sorry. I have to admit my week's not going that great either. But maybe we can get through it together. Maybe this video will bring you just a little bit of comfort, just a little bit of distraction from whatever you might be going through. And if you're not going through anything right now and life is going great, I'm so freaking happy for you. And I hope that you can give me some of that energy through the screen. So if your week's going great and your life's going great, manifest me some of that please. <laughs> manifest all of us some of that if you can. I would be so grateful. So this week I'm reading Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney and <laughs> the reason that both Ali and I are tackling this which I think our vlogs are coming out on the same day so if you're here from Ali's vlog how are you? But we decided that we would read this because we both aren't big fans of Sally Rooney and I guess for Ali that is okay to say because she is American. But for me, as an Irish person, not being a fan of Sally Rooney is like blasphemy. And my problem mostly lies with the way in which she writes. I feel like the topic is there, but there's never any density to what she's writing. It's like, okay, there's all these people and they're having relationships, but you know, what else? I don't. I it always lacks a certain type of depth for me. I really didn't like normal people. I actually kind of despised it. And overall, just because I found it boring, like I was so bored. I didn't really care about the characters. There was nothing for me to care about. I didn't care about their relationship. I just didn't care about them full stop. So I'm hoping that this one gives me more to like and I'm willing to give her another chance. <laughs> so far, I have got the chapter five in this. I started reading it at the start of the week or the end of last week, but then I had to work all weekend because of Valentine's Day so I'm hoping to finish it today or by the weekend. I have a lot of plans this week so I'm hoping that it's done by Sunday. Uh, <laughs> right now we're on page 43 so hopefully we get a bigger chunk of it done. I am actually intrigued by what's happening. I like the dynamic that's happening and I like all of the really philosophical questions that are being brought up and the socialism that's being brought up and I like those types of conversations that are being had. I'm afraid that it's going to get tedious because we've already started out really strong on those really serious conversations so I feel like if she's gonna drag that out I think it's gonna get a little bit tedious but I'm willing to try. <laughs> so chapter five let's see how much we get done. First of all I have to do some cleaning. Uh, spring cleaning is about to happen hence why we're on this side of my room and not the other side where I usually sit because it's a state and I bought some new clothes because I was feeling sorry for myself and my wardrobe is a mess and I need to gut out a lot of clothes and give a lot of clothes away so I can make room for a new wardrobe that I have started. <laughs> For some reason, it was a bad idea. Don't want to talk about it, but so my wardrobe actually isn't in this room. It's in another room because this room is too small to have a wardrobe in it. So we're gonna go do some of that. Clean some of the stuff I put the new stuff in. Clean my room a little bit because I'm not gonna be able to read in this environment and see what happens the rest of the night. Let's go do that. Hopefully this is the vlog where I appreciate Sally Rooney more as an Irish writer. Will it happen? I don't know. <laughs> I hate that I can't just bend it and sit comfortably with it. Like, stop complaining. Do your cleaning. I'm gonna low key expose myself, so. It's a hot mess in here. What is this? There is a literal old TV. So a lot of this is getting dumped and going to charity because I wear the same three outfits every week. So there's really no need for all of these clothes. So we're gonna do our best to condense everything. Put it in a big black bag and take it to a charity shop. The one good thing about this is that I'm actually feeling kind of pooped this week. So maybe giving back to people and maybe getting rid of all of these clothes and giving them to people that actually need them will make me feel a little bit better. So if you're feeling kind of poop, do something good for someone else because it does make you feel a little bit better. If you can make someone else feel better, then that's always good. People for the people. I actually didn't mean to take that down a communist route, but don't I always do that anyway? Yes. Let's go. Start to be honest. Okay, we finished. 
finished it um i eventually got through it all i stopped recording because i put my phone on the speaker and i was just jamming it out so i did get it done uh we took all of the clothes to a clothes bank there's five bags full of clothes and shoes which is crazy but i guess that's better than nothing anyway we're ready to jump back in to beautiful world where are you Honestly, hoping to get this finished. If not, nearly finish it. I don't think it's that hard of a read, so I feel like I should be able to do that. But the vibes are here, you know. We've got a candle burning. It's nice and cozy in here. I've got a nice fleecy jumper on. So let's get cozy and let's read more of this book. <laughs> This is like kind of a stupid criticism but at the same time it's not because I know there's a lot of people that struggle with understanding books that don't have speech marks. This is a bit of a well-known criticism when it comes to Sally Rooney and I'm one of those people that really struggles reading something that doesn't have speech marks so I find these types of books really really challenging but one of my favorite books is Blindness by Jose Saramago and I really love that book and it was such a challenge for me to read but I feel like that was the point it was supposed to be challenging I don't feel like Sally Rooney's books are meant to challenge me in a mental way like in an articulate way I don't feel like they're meant to be being challenged they're meant to be really enjoying my time but sometimes I don't know if things are just being described or if they somebody is speaking like I find I don't know it's kind of a stupid complaint but at the same time it really takes me out of it because I get confused like I get it it's like a new take on writing and we don't have to convey to the traditional styles of writing or grammar or whatever I would appreciate it if we just stuck with it and we use speech marks just a personal thing just a personal thing Sorry, I don't know if this counts as a spoiler because it's only 48 pages in and I feel like every Tom, Dick and Sally has read this already but the fuck is Felix's problem? On page 48 when they're talking about the fact that Alice is a writer and she's got a Wikipedia page, why is he so touchy about it? Excuse me? You must think you're very special he said because she has a Wikipedia page. Of course she's special. She's a writer. She just invited him to Rome. Is Alice a Tindler, a Tindler swindler? A Tinder swindler? Tin Tinder swind... Fuck it, doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. I really can't stop talking about this book. I literally just need to finish it, but I just have so much to say from the first seven chapters, which I feel like that's a good thing. What is it with me reading books that have some sort of like moral value and substance to them and ask a lot of really important questions to talk about really important things and then they turn into fucking smut? Every book I've picked up this month and last month that I've been like, whoa, there's a lot of serious questions in this. It's got me thinking the whole way through the start of this. I'm really using my brain and I'm really answering questions that Sally Rooney is putting forward. She's making me think about my life. And then she's like, here's some phone sex. And I'm like, Sally, please. Sally, please. You just put me in a philosophical headspace and now we're having phone sex. Sally, please. Sally? Sally? <laughs> It's me, 
back again to talk about this freaking book <laughs> so i am almost finished um i'm definitely gonna finish it tonight i know i said i finished it yesterday but i didn't nearly did uh but i didn't and then i went to bed and then i went to work and then i came back and i've been reading it ever since i got in the door so it is almost complete i'm going to get a shower and then i'm doing some fun activities tomorrow so i'm gonna get ready for that and then get into bed and finish it <laughs> i think overall it's either gonna be a three or a four star i don't hate it um I can't see it picking up or getting any worse in the last couple of pages. Overall, my thoughts seem to be that I really enjoy Alice and Eileen's friendship. I think I already said this, but I knew it was gonna get a little bit tedious. Um, at the start I was like, hell yes, philosophical questions. And then towards the end, I'm kind of like, do people actually speak to each other like this? <laughs> like, is it realistic in the sense that, okay, Alice is a writer, so maybe she's just super articulate when she emails, but also is that how friends communicate? I don't think that's how Ali and I communicate uh, via text email whatever we very much communicate through random sentences sometimes <laughs> but fair play you know they're going through a lot of serious topics it's things you would talk to your friends about at like four in the morning uh they're really going for it in here so again happy for them but i think towards the end i'm like come on we have exhausted every topic do we have to still talk about the bronze age you know <laughs> Uh, I don't really care for the other characters. Honestly, Felix kind of gives me the ick and so does Simon. But I, as far as characters go, I really only care about Alice and Eileen. And I think that's okay. But I do think that the book has a lot of really great topics that it talks about, including friendship and careers and feeling lost and feeling a lot of existentialism considering the state of the planet right now. And I think that the power of this book lies in the relationships and how those relationships contribute to making us feel better when everything is falling apart. And I really appreciate it for that. It's made me think a lot this week. And I've been going through some things uh, with my, you know, career and figuring out what I'm doing with my life. It's been a struggle. Uh, I feel like I'm stuck in existentialism really badly uh right now and i go through periods like this all the time where i feel super duper anxious about the future and where it's taking me and if it's even gonna take me anywhere because you know the planet is dying and it's a whole ordeal but i feel like this book is very comforting I really think this book has helped me think a lot this week about okay yes things suck at the minute but i have friends and i have family and i have a relationship and can things really be that bad okay the plant's on fire but sally really said that as long as we've got friends we've got everything <laughs> But I'm gonna finish it, I've rambled on. I've sort of gave a review before I even finished it, but I will check in when I finish. And then we're gonna do some cool things tomorrow. Hello, hi, welcome, it's the weekend. And I finished this yesterday and I'm so undecided on a review and a rating. I think it's a four, but part of me thinks it's a three. So I don't know. I did enjoy myself. I had a pretty good time reading it. I was never bored at any point, but at the end I was kind of like, okay. I guess I was kind of like, now what though? Like now what, like and what? And what, Sally? So I think it's definitely better than normal people. It's still not like the best thing I've ever read in my whole life, which I feel like a lot of people feel that way. I gave her another chance and I definitely had a better time. If it wasn't for Ali and it wasn't for other people really hyping it up, I wouldn't have picked it up again and I wouldn't have given her another chance. So thanks to Ali and thanks to her for reading this with me. I've had a really good uh, chat with her about it. Uh, I can't wait for her to put her video up and I can't wait for everybody to watch it. And I can't wait to talk to everybody else about this and what their thoughts are. And 
if I am the minority again. Although I've heard a lot of people say that they didn't like this one as much as they like normal people, but I'm the opposite. Like I feel like there was so much more to this one, but again, I feel like it kind of still lacks some substance. Like the topic is always there, but the substance like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna give it some more thought. Um, I'm going to get tattooed. I'm going to get matching tattoos with my two childhood best friends. It's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna go for some food and then we're gonna go out later and have a good old time. So I will see y'all soon. And thanks for watching if I don't come back and speak. Uh, it's been great having everybody here and thanks to everyone that supported me so far. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy making these videos and I really, really enjoy talking to everyone. And I have met some amazing people through the internet. So even though it's a scary place sometimes, here we all are having a great old time. So thanks for watching and keep reading because you know, it makes you sexier, scientifically proven. <laughs> Maybe we're just born to love and worry about the people we know and to go on loving and worrying even when there are more important things we should be doing and if that means the human species is going to die out isn't it in a way a nice reason to die out? The nicest reason you can imagine because when we should have been reorganising the distribution of the world's resources and transitioning collectively to a sustainable economic model we were worrying about sex and friendship instead because we loved each other too much and found each other too interesting and i love that about humanity and in fact it's the very reason i root for us to survive because we are so stupid about each other